my god! I just about to check out Jimin who is back with his song like crazy. I actually dropped my reaction to uh to Set Me Free Part 2 yesterday and uh it was quite the performance I put together in that um i actually dropped it just more so last night i'm gonna try and get this up as soon as possible the day as soon as possible after it comes out but i'm recording it same day uh I'm very excited for this because like i said it is jim and his project the entire project dropped today i'm pretty sure unless it's like another half later on but there's b sides as well there's an interlude i believe i don't want to talk anymore i want to get into it because i actually do have to head out and take care of stuff but i was gonna stop right after the last video that video i'm gonna stop before the video before that because i had to leave and I've just added one more video every time. And this one has to be the last one. This one has to be the last one. Let's check out Jimin's Like Crazy. The things I do for the people I buy, realistically, what I'm trying to do is go buy an album and just hope it doesn't sell out. So I'm like, one more reaction. They won't sell out with one more reaction. <laughs> All right, Jimin Like Crazy. Let's see what this song's about. I haven't seen anything. It dropped like at midnight last night for me. Oh, look at me like this. Oh, we zooming in on the eye. Okay. Oh, first of all, he about to kill it. Second of all, the last video did not have my captions this big. So I always keep my captions. Y'all don't need to know this shit, but I always keep my captions here at 150. Sometimes it'll be checked at 150, but it'll be this size. And I don't like that. So I have to go here, and then this one will be this one. But right now, it just went back to normal. And now this one's actually this one. It was supposed to be. Now I don't need to see that. Y'all can skip through it. You know what? We'll rewind. <clears throat> oh. Oh, oh, Jimmy, I was not expecting a retro from you, my king. Holy shit. Oh, I'm so glad. I said one more reaction. I am so glad. Oh my god, his voice sends himself to, a, to this type of song so well. This is like a visual onslaught, bro. You need to chill, my guy. His voice has this mystifying thing about it, bro. It's so nice, bro. The way his voice sounds on songs, bro, it's just like it's so... It's almost entrancing. Like, this song has this entrancing feel to it, too, bro. 
It's like his voice is seducing you, bro. It's kind of crazy. Oh, he looks great, bro. Oh, I thought he was getting dragged. like this bro oh my goodness I was just saying I literally I don't know if you saw me whisper it I said please don't oh my god that was three minutes and 44 seconds that's the point oh he smeared the camera oh that was so good bro I was not expecting that. Was there? How long was it intro? Nah, we went into the song pretty much immediately. Oh my god! I can do. I can have this song for another three minutes. Like genuinely, no like ass kiss and shit. Like I could genuinely have this song for another. It felt shorter. It felt like two two and a half minutes or something. But that being said, like. How do I explain this? Sometimes I just get this feeling with like a song. I feel like it finishes too quickly, but at the same time, I'm satisfied. You know, it's just kind. Of, maybe I'm just so satisfied. I just want to go on for longer. I guess that's a better way to explain it. But holy shit! Like I said, his voice just sounds like so mystifying. Is the word that comes to mind? Honestly, that's the that's the that's the word I blurted out when I was talking about it because. Just feels so magical whenever you hear whatever whether it's a Jim and part on a BTS song. Uh, or just like his songs, the ones that he's released. Magical, mystifying is how I feel like about his voice, and it's so dope. I like that he has a project now. I'll definitely check out the rest on my own. Definitely while I head out right now, I'll edit this when I get back, hopefully. And uh, he killed this shit, and I knew he would. Oops. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. This is what I meant, right? People like, uh, someone explained to me like why there was like a uh, certain album because it's kind of like two sides, uh, like a call and response type thing uh, in the first song. Like, I understand the creative reasons if that was the creative reasons, but it's still like a from a listening perspective to me Like there's songs that I do listen to that have a lot of auto-tune though, so it's a bit hypocritical But I guess it's like song by song basis that one just wasn't much of the type of auto-tune I like to listen to but I did tell y'all when I was listening to it um, That I want to hear another like the rest of the project because I know he's gonna deliver it in the way that I know Jimin can and will deliver and he did this was dope I like it a lot. 